things about this show is in this world, people don't talk plain anymore. What happens is you always got some agenda. Somebody's worried about something. Somebody doesn't want to offend somebody else. Somebody basically, you know, is sugarcoating. Said they got it, you know, like they, they may lose a, a sponsor if they say something wrong. You know, they may, st the point is I talk straight. Okay. You ask me something, I'll give you my straight thoughts on it. May not be the best way to go about something, but at least you'll know I'm not pussyfooting around nothing. Okay. I'll tell you what's up from my point of view. And actually that's it. It's from your point of view. It's just from my point and of view. And Believe me, I talk for nobody yeah. but myself. <laughs> Believe me, there is nobody who wants to get on board with me and say, oh yeah, he speaks for me. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's going to be happening much. Right. Another caller. We have another caller. Yes. Right. Go for it. I wanted to ask you a question. Okay. Okay. Since you're a Jew, I want. Well, I'm to Jewish. Know yeah. Okay. Go ahead. You ask the Jew. It sounds. Well, one second. Ask the Jew sounds sort of derogatory. You know. Well, yeah, but you know. Yeah. What are you doing that for attention? Well, no. You're. You came up with the name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah it was a throwaway name. It wasn't yeah. meant Love to start a whole production. Caller. Okay. Yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait. The <laughs> lowest, so, the lowest yeah, rung listen, of the I ladder is talking. Question, if the show wasn't be called, a, it called Ask the Jew. Okay, okay, fine. Ask your question. All right. But I'm so, in a bad mood now. Since they, oh, honey, don't be bad. Okay. Don't be sad. Listen, I have a friend that did this, so I want to know. Um, since you're a Jew and um, you're circumcised, right? Do you do you feel that you're an adult <laughs> that you want to maybe sue your parents for doing something to you that they didn't ask permission? You know, <laughs> I said I would answer anything. Well, that, that's a good question. I said I would answer anything. Yeah, yeah. well, so. But I didn't know that the first show, I got to talk about circumcision, okay? <laughs> I'm not a moil. I don't want to do any of that, okay? You don't have to talk about the snip snip itself. You just have to talk about your feelings. I don't give a crap. I basically, I don't even remember it. It's just the way things are. I'm fine now. I would have probably been fine if I didn't do it. I didn't even do it. It just had it done to me. No, they, what are they going to sue their parents? Somebody did, yeah. What are they? It, it's like the world is full of retards. Somebody sued their parents? <laughs> you know, what are you going to sue your parents over the fact that 30 years ago they, they, they gave you a circumcision? Well, he said I mean, I'd rather sue them. Stress. What? What was that? that? He said it was emotional stress that a baby didn't need to go through. Well, next thing he's going to sue them because he's bald. He said, oh, my, you know, my grandfather, it should, you should have chosen better to make him have hair. But being bald is a natural disaster. I mean, not, are you bald? I'm sorry. No, I'm not <laughs> bald. I, I got, uh, I, I've had a slightly receding hairline since I was a kid. It's just slowly going backwards. Oh, good. But I still got some hair. But that has nothing to do with the emotional distress. I mean, you could get emotionally distressed if you're bald, but that's a natural cause. You have choices, you know, you have choices. Well, what if, what if they fed uh, him spaghetti? Wait, wait, wait. The end of your, uh, but see, the, but, I but, mean, circumcised or not. But coming through the birth canal is an emotional distress, too, No, what too, if they fed they him SpaghettiOs and he you hated no SpaghettiOs? Choice. If you're in the stomach, you're going to, I mean, if you're in well, the birth, uh, you know, where you keep the babies, I don't know, I never but, had any. But if, it, you, if you're so, in that place, yeah. you're going to, uh, you have no choice, you're coming out. Either okay, that or but you do, you, the, but the mother does have a choice to have a cesarean or... Uh, or go Wait a minute, we're going in the wrong direction, yeah, okay? You know, you're going in the stomach. No, no, you're, you're buying into this crap. Here's the thing. Yes. I'm, let's take away from the fact that this guy's suing his parents over the circumcision, okay? Okay. Let's look at the mental makeup of this person. What kind of a person is so fixated in life that they got to sue their parents over the fact, I mean, what the hell happened to this guy? Well, you know, there are a lot of doctors that say there's no need for circumcision, and, and it's just a painful process that you put the children through. Yeah, but know, those doctors in their life. Those doctors weren't speaking up back when this guy was circumcised. This is water under the bridge. The, the train's out of the station. <laughs> the foreskins, you know, it's down the toilet. It's done. Yeah, what? They, I mean, there's nothing he can do. That's another story. I, you know, it's an emotional stress that you don't need to have. Okay, here's the thing. If I were talking to the guy, yeah, you know, as sensitively, get over it. yeah, as sensitively as I possibly could, I would just say, get a life, buddy. 
<laughs> you know, move on. Live your life. Enjoy your life. What is he crying over something that happened before he even remembers? But what if some of your deep down issues have developed because of that that you can't even remember? Believe me, this guy's got deep down issues just to even broach this subject. And, and what is he? And what kind of a lawyer takes this case? Uh, there's I, a lot of them, and a lot of them are winning. People are winning this? Yes. Wait, well, maybe I could get something out of my parents. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm just thinking. Anyway, I mean, the people are winning. <laughs> Spoken like a true. <laughs> what are you going to say something derogatory? I'll give you the I was. Name off the I air. was. What? I'll give you the name of an attorney off the air. Okay, fine. Thank you. Email it to it. You know, it's, it's been a. It, I'd like to say it was a pleasure chatting with you, but I told I'd be straight on these things. But it was nice of you to call. Thank you. You're welcome. What are they suing? Thank you for They're calling suing you. their. Yeah, thanks for calling. They're suing their parents. You know. People want money from the strangest ways. Uh, it's. I'm sorry, you know, and, and, and that's another thing. If you ever listen to me now, if you're ever on the side of the road bleeding to death and some guy stops his car to save your life and saves your life, but then all of a sudden you find out if he were a doctor, he could have done something better, don't sue him. He basically is doing, stepping out of his comfort zone to help you. So just because it may not have the best result, don't sue the guy. I always hate that. When people stop to help, when people are trying to do good, and some idiot sues them. And another thing, if you're a burglar and you break into somebody's house, don't sue them if something happens, you know, where you get hurt, okay? You broke into their damn house, live with the consequences. I, I would agree. I hate that. I agree. I hate that Fine. too. When somebody's trying to help, you don't sue them. And the court shouldn't take that crap either. Judge should just look at the person and say, you tried to break into his house. Get out of here.